That's right the way down through the waiting ready room area. The competitors are really wrapped up at the moment for this next event, the men's 400 metres freestyle S10. Let's watch out for Isaac Buckley of Canada, the local lad representing his country here in this final. There he is, the third competitor in line. Eight lengths of the pool. Martininsky goes in lane one for the Russian Federation. Oliver Victor Wurt goes in two for the Netherlands. Buckley in three for Canada. Looking very fit, I must say. Silverman goes in four for the USA. Robert Welburn there, representing Great Britain. He's in lane five for 2031. Big applause for him around the facility here. Bouncing off the corners. Masayev goes in lane number six for the Ukraine. Qualified in 4.24.79. Then Marine goes in lane number seven. Argentina and to complete the lineup, Goncalves representing Portugal with a qualification time of 4.28.19. Maybe the distance a little bit short for Goncalves. He's a, an open water specialist going in the pool here. Philippe Gagnon from Canada is the world record holder, and that record set way back in 2001. I can tell you, Philip Gagnon is in the building. Came to watch this race to see if anyone can challenge the world record, which has stood for 12 years. And the man most likely to do so is the man in lane four, Ian Silverman from the USA. He has been in sparkling form the last couple of years. Won the gold medal in London. Probably a bit of a surprise, but he managed to dominate that beat the other local favourite Benoit Huel into second position with Great Britain's Rob Wellborn in third on that occasion Silverman leads them into the first turn it is the American Bartosinski in the outside lane in second position and Rob Wellborn in third this is the S10 class it's the least impairment of all the physical disabilities taking part at these Paralympic World Championships and of course the disability is subject to a minimal disability criteria so they may well have slight arm impairments or leg impairments mixture of both in this race the top two favorites for this one though have hit the front after the first 100 silverman 57.32 an excellent first split rob wellborn 58.92 a second and a half behind and third still bartosinski the russian it was bartosinski in lane one in third position no one's going to catch Silverman. 128, 17, 1.86 seconds faster than Weldon. Weldon for Great Britain in second place. Bodinski still looking good in third. Weldon trying to catch the ankles of Silverman. But it's all too much, too little, too late, I think. Silverman of the USA coming home here now. There's a few seconds from this 200 meter turn. He's very open, very wide with that tumble turn. The legs flying very high. We'd like to see a, a tight tuck there at the turn. So 1.80 seconds clear of Welburn. Welburn letting him get it a little too far away, two full body lengths. I think that angle's very deceiving there on the camera. More than a body length clear of Welburn, Welburn in second, Silverman in the lead to 30.75. We can see there the remaining competitors coming into 
the 250 metre turn. Oh, Rob Wellborn giving it a good go here, the Great Britain swimmer, the bronze medalist in London, the European champion and the European record holder. But Silverman is just very, very strong. Really all to play for for the bronze medal. Good swim in lane one. Bartoskinski is going to be in third position and he's going to be clear of Isaac Buckley and Maxim Asayev. Can they pull back in the last 100 of this race? But here we go. Ian Silverman, the Paralympic champion. Can he challenge that long-standing world record that stood for 12 years held by Philippe Gagnon? of Canada. Rob Wilborn trying to get back on terms but Silverman has got about a three or four meter lead on the Great Britain swimmer. Three seconds it's not going to happen for Rob Wilborn he's going to be clear in second position. All that remains now for Silverman is can he challenge that world record mark of 404.20 Bartinski still in third, Weldon still in silver but slipping back as Silverman accelerates once again of the USA. It's going to be just outside the world record, I feel. It's going to be close, 4.05.38, just a little shy. 4.04.20, Weldon gets the silver, so the world record of Gagnon is here in the stands. That record will survive. He's a Canadian, he'll be pleased. The bronze does go to Bartinski of the Russian Federation and a great swim for Bukley of Canada fourth place 418 55 unofficial Silverman there with his official result flashing off our screens good start for Welburn came up later but only a couple of centimeters down on Silverman but it was the acceleration of Silverman at the first 50 metres. He'd made the distance. He had clear waters after a short space of time, held that distance, but then broke away even more down the final length and looking straight down his lane immediately. The clock must have anticipated a world record there, must have known how that felt and how close he was. And that for sure only comes from confidence in training. So Silverman takes the goal. Welburn the silver. Botanzowski takes the bronze. Buklia, what a great performance. The Canadian takes fourth. Isayev fifth. 